welcome back to my channel. I am so excited because this look turned out to be so amazing. Can you guys see? Like I wasn't sure whether how it is gonna like this looks gonna turn out and you know how I'm gonna go about it and all of that and all of that. But this look turned out to be so amazing and I'm so happy with the way it turned out. Like can you guys see it? I don't know okay so i just don't know i'm seeing time rambling i think we should just jump into the video and i'll show you everything how i got it and um, i hope you guys really like the video thanks so much for watching so i'm gonna first start by using the becca primer and i'm gonna be applying it all over my face next i'm gonna grab my favorite fit me foundation in the color warm beige and twirl my head a little and play my favorite song and <laughs> then i'm gonna start and blend all of this with my beauty blender i wasn't happy with the coverage so i'm going in with another layer of it i want a little heavy coverage today i don't know i just felt like it and i'm bringing it down my neck next i am quite set now yeah next i'm gonna go in with my concealer i'm using the mac creamy concealer in nc30 i'm gonna apply it under my eyes and then i'm gonna be using the mac pro longwear concealer and it's an nc25 and i'm applying it wherever i need to highlight i'm just blending everything with a beauty blender my playlist literally sucked at this point next i am gonna go in with my loose rcma powder I'm gonna be applying it all over wherever I highlight it because I like to set my powder like my face with this and I just need to adjust my off shoulder top does this happen with you guys I mean I don't know how this happens with me anyway so I'm using the next primer I'm gonna be priming my lid it's just canceling out all the color there and it's really amazing for that I'm going to show you my brows this time I don't know I felt like it I'm just using the brow in number four and filling in my brows there I came closer to you for the eyes I'm setting my eyes with the MAC powder and this is an NC30. Next I'm going in with Outer Luck. This is a Colourpop eyeshadow and it's a very nice um, transition colour. That's why I'm placing it in the transition area. I'm taking this shadow which is called Man Eater and I'm applying it in like the shape of a V towards the end of my eye and I'm just blending it in circular motions. Oh god, I just got very fierce with the blending. <laughs> Next, I'm picking up the shadow Bay and I'm just applying it in the inner third of the eye. And then I'm going in with Henna, which is like a nice brown color. And I'm just putting it right in the center to give that nice transition from Bay to Man Eater. So after I was done behaving like a monkey, I went in with <laughs> this color in the Huda Beauty palette, which is called Bossy, I believe. And I'm just placing it at the end and then blending it again to give it that depth and definition. And again, I'm going in with the black truffle shadow and I'm using it just at the end to intensify whatever that dark color there. Then I'm taking all the three colors except the black one and lining my lower lash line and then taking the black I'm just gonna put it in the outer corners. Again using the bay eyeshadow I just place it underneath my brows. I'm cleaning up all of my powder and I'm going in with the Zoeva Spectrum and I'm using these two brown shades to contour my face. I'm not too much into contouring nowadays it's just gone. And next I am again doing the same with my nose and you know how it goes. That rhymed. Okay, I'm picking up the yellow color from the spectrum and I'm applying it right in the center of my nose, that's just the bridge of my nose, and blending it. Next, I'm going in with the Anastasia Glow Kit in Gleam, and this is like a pink highlighted shade, and I'm just using it to highlight my cheekbones. I love the highlight part, I just don't know. I'm obsessed with highlighting. Using the same Man Eater shadow which I used on my eyes, I'm using it as a blush. I don't know, I did not have a blush which matches with this, so I used it like that, and it worked just fine. Now I'm picking the Zoeva eyeliner and I'm making a sharp fierce wing with this. I just really wanted a nice wing for this look. Yes, it's there with my tongue sticking out. Next I'm going in with my Wow Cosmetics mascara. You can use any mascara. I love the L'Oreal one. And then I'm going in with lashes but you'll have to wait for them to the glue to dry. So then I'm applying my lip liner which is the Mary Jo K lip liner which came with that lip kit from Kylie. Now I have my lashes on. Do you see the difference? I mean it's too much. I'm going in with the Jeffree Star I'm Shook lipstick today. It is such a beautiful color. This color was my inspiration for this look. It just looked so pretty and so flawless. I mean, can you see? By the way, my lashes are scarlet from Huda Beauty and they look so gorgeous. And I have to do something with these hair. Wait. There. Don't these look amazing? I look, this look is so romantic, so nice. I really hope you guys liked it. 
so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i had a great time creating it and you know whenever there's a little bit of gap that i give in my videos i feel that my creativity comes out even more and when i'm busy with other things i just feel like filming so much more i just had a great time filming and thank you guys for watching i love you all so much and please keep giving me suggestions on what i should do next i love you thank you